right, we're getting in breaking inputs right now. We are learning that uh, Finance Minister Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman has in fact uh, uh, reacted to the entire case. Uh, Nirmala Sitaraman with regards to the Rohit Vemula case has said that a false narrative is being peddled they, and that uh, the Congress party wants a fake Dalit debate to continue and which is why they are peddling this false narrative. Uh, she's also in fact gone on to say that I will use Rohit Vebula as an example to tell you how an unfortunate incident without allowing the university to handle it with the utmost sensitivity was dragged across the streets all over the country and a narrative was built against the entire government. Let's also play out Nirmala Sita Raman's reaction. I use that as an example to tell you how an incident and an unfortunate incident unfortunate incident without allowing the university to handle it with all sensitivity was dragged across the streets of India all over the country and a narrative was built oh this government is suppressing this government is not allowing students this government is against SCs Today, the very same people who dragged that unfortunate family onto the streets should stand up before the entire country and apologize for having politicized this country. Quickly go across to Swastika Das, who's uh, tracking the story for us. Swastika, the fact that the BJP or even the government at the centre is calling this a false narrative being peddled by the Congress party, not just in the state but pan India also, important to highlight what is um, that contradiction that is emerging from what the police filed in its report first versus what the Congress party has to say, not to forget what it stated in its own manifesto. clearly hit out at the Congress saying the Mohammed Ki Dukan peddled, ra uh, peddled lies and in fact took this issue to the parliament. By this, he, he, she's hitting out at uh, Rahul Gandhi, remember, in 2016 when he visited the campus to extend his support. Contradiction part that you asked, number one is the fact that the police claimed in its closure report that Rohit Vemula was not a Dalit and that uh, papers may have been forged to prove otherwise. Rohit Vemula's mother, though she hails from a uh, Dalit community, she was married into a family where the caste uh, was a different one, an OBC community. Being when the fact that Rohit Vemula was driven to suicide on the basis of his caste, what the report also clearly highlights is that Rohit could have been one of the reasons why that uh, he could have taken that extreme step. Though the report does not singulate that reason as one big factor why Rohit Vemula took that extreme step and uh, died by suicide back in 2016. Politics definitely coming to the fore, but uh, while the centre has now hit out through Nirmala Sitaraman, the Telangana government here has initiated or reiterated probe into the matter and assured all kinds of support to Vemula's family. All right, many thanks to you, Swastika, for bringing in all those inputs. And on that note, let's also play out some more reactions on that story. You were also part of the meeting with the Chief Minister. Give me the word from the government side. See, our Chief Minister has promised that uh, he will reinvestigate the entire issue hmm. and justice will be given to Rohit Vemula's family and the Dalit community, like students who are enrolled at that time.